Hey guys, and happy Friday. Hope everyone's doing well today. I'm gonna to say this is the first one we're broadcasting live from the San Diego airport. I'm sitting on the floor because there's nowhere else to do this show. So let's go get started. guys today on the show i excited to be here we're a little bit early today so got to do things off kilter i'm on my way up to seattle to go visit some family and uh, just want to keep producing the content for you want to keep bringing you value and hope that you guys can learn something from today's show so we're talking about social media and the power that social media has in our lives today it's been interesting as i prepared for the show just thinking about some of the things i want to talk about so i got up early got to the airport checked in ready to go right we're here so normally when i take this flight i park at a nearby parking garage and take a shuttle over here and it's kind of interesting just watching the dynamic of people on the flight or on a bus on the way over here usually i'm the youngest one by like 30 years most people on this bus are like 70 75 years old and it's funny because a few years ago i made the comment on social media that the power of advertising in public places like billboards and you know just things that surround you are over Right, so we're on this bus, it probably holds like 20 people. It's got all the, the little like corner advertising above the windows that most people used to look at like on subways and stuff like that in New York. But what happened is, is that everybody's got their head down, right? They're looking at their cell phone. And so I think it was like two or three years ago, I made the comment, I was like, it's so interesting that nobody pays attention to these ads anymore, yet people are still paying money to put these ads in front of people every single day. I and mean, I don't know how much it costs to run an ad on a bus anymore, but obviously no one's looking at them. And so today as I got on the bus, I looked up to look at the ads to just see who's still advertising advertising in these spaces and all the ads are gone and everyone is down looking at their phone still. It's just so interesting how things like this happen, right? Things progress, marketing progresses, things start figuring out. Um, it's interesting too, is that I started noticing that bigger companies, right? McDonald's, Porsche, Toyota, obviously, some of these big brands are starting to put more of their money onto social media marketing. And as that's happening, the cost of advertising is going up, right? So what used to be very, very affordable for cost per clicks or just getting views on Facebook is now starting to climb because again, people are starting to take their advertising off the bus walls and they're starting to put it down on our phones where we're actually paying attention. I was teaching a class yesterday and it was all about understanding your demographics and building an audience on Facebook and really understanding who you're trying to communicate with and telling the story that's going to make sense for them. And, uh, and most of the people in the audience hadn't spent a lot of money on Facebook before, so this is kind of a beginner's class for them, which is fine. They got to start somewhere. Uh, but we're talking about the use of, of Facebook and the use of ads and people are saying, you know, Facebook ads don't work for my audience or they don't work for my demographic or I've got an older demographic and they're not on social media as much anymore so on the bus today most i would say the average age of uh, people there is mostly couples flying somewhere this morning out of state right they were probably 70 75 even 80 years old and what is interesting is every single one of them was on their phone this morning they're all looking down reading something consuming something they were some of them in text messages some of them were on social media some of them are looking at their calendar but they're all paying attention to their phones guys do you understand that this device that I'm even recording this show on right now, my iPhone, is the attention of everything, of every American, of every person out there. Everybody's watching this thing and they're looking at it all the time. There's a stat that says one in every five minutes spent online is spent on Facebook. So if you're trying to get people's attention, no more plastering your information on the bus wall, no more mailing them letters, no more buying billboards, no more trying to advertise on television, right? It all comes down to focusing where people's attention are and that is on their device. So let's get into some of the uses of what social media can do for you guys and we're going to keep this show a little bit shorter because i got to catch a flight here but i want to give you some potential useful tips uh, and strategies in your upcoming years of using social media in your business whether again you're trying to build your brand whether you're trying to get your business out there whether you're just trying to tell the world what you're do, become a social media influencer or trying to sell an e-commerce product because social media is is powerful it's growing there's two billion users on facebook i think most people know that instagram is catching up pretty quickly people are still on snapchat they're still using linkedin they're still using all these other platforms that people consume content on every single day people People ask me all the time, should I create video? Should I write? Should I post pictures? The answer is yes. You need to be where people are consuming content. You got to understand your audience. You know, do they like to watch videos? Do they like to read blogs and articles? Do they like to just look at pictures and read the little text that goes below it, like on Instagram? What kind of content are they consuming? And then make content that's relevant to what they're looking for. So the answer is yes. You need to be making more content. Um, I would first start again with the platform that people are going to be on in your demographic. So if most of the people who you communicate with are on Facebook, stick with Facebook. Start there. That's probably the easiest 
easiest place to get people's attention, that and Instagram, but depending on who it is that you're trying to communicate and the message that you're trying to share, it could be one of these two platforms, but maybe you're better at video, maybe you're better at writing text, maybe you're better at just taking awesome photos of the products that you sell. Start with your strengths and then go from there. I think so many people try to be everywhere all at once and they struggle because they get overwhelmed with how much content they have to create. Start with the thing that you're best at and then start adding on more and more and more, right? Like this show, this is the 109th episode of Facebook Friday that we've done. When I first started out, this was one of the only things that we did because I figured, look, if I can start with video, that's great. I can go from there. Uh, we have a podcast now. We have blogs that come out on a weekly basis. We have vlogs that come out. There's all sorts of other content that we started to create and distribute because of the audience that we uh, speak to. Not everybody wants to consume a 30 minute video. So I've got to get them content that they're looking for in the way that they want to digest it. Some of the other things to consider are just the uses of how people use social media, right? Again, not everybody wants to stare at a screen for 30 minutes or an hour. Some people do, but not everybody does. Some people only consume their social media content when they're you know, working out at the gym. Maybe they listen to podcasts. Maybe they listen to it on the way to work. Maybe they've got 10 minutes here and five minutes there and 15 minutes there that they're trying to consume content. There's big numbers if you start looking at the data of where people consume a lot of content. It's usually like seven in the morning, noon, and then after nine o'clock at night. So if you can produce content in these little windows of time to capture people's attention, that's when you're going to win. For us, I realized, again, not everybody wants to consume these 30 minute shows. Most people start failing or falling off around minute five, which is fine. They get what they need and then they can come back and maybe watch bits and pieces of it. We'll take this 30 minute show and chop it up into maybe five or seven short little videos just to give you the value that you're looking for in places that you're going to consume it. So you might find a chunk of this video in Instagram, or you might find a piece of it in Facebook or even in stories where it's even shorter and just to get to the key point of what I'm trying to talk about, because that's the relevant part that you're looking for. So again, take the bigger pieces that you create, chop it up to the people that need to see it, create content like that. The other cool thing that we can do with this content is that we can take the audio out of it and make a podcast out of it, right? So we make a podcast almost every single day now. I don't have to go and record a podcast every single day because we create so much video content that I can actually just take the audio from that, get rid of the picture part, and then just upload the audio straight to iTunes and now have a podcast. People consume so much podcasts right now. It's incredible. If you're not in the audio world, you need to consider doing that because of the amount of attention that that's getting right now. What happened is the average American now has a 45 minute commute to work. That's a lot of time to just sit there in the car, listen to AM radio, get bored, honk their horn, right? So if you give them something to listen to, podcast after podcast after podcast, even if they're just short little three, five, you know, 10 minute pieces of information that they can consume, this is a great way for them to get to know you. It's a really intimate experience because you're probably in their ears. They have no way of skipping because they can't touch their phones nowadays, depending on what state you live in. So they're just going to consume everything that you have to say. So get their attention, bring them amazing value. Don't try to sell them anything in these products or in these podcasts, obviously, but just talk to them, teach them, help them understand who you are and what you do and why you do what you do, why you're passionate about what it is that you do. So podcasts can be incredible. Again, other people like to read, right? We have somebody on our team who's like, I don't consume video. I just like to read. I love reading. I love articles. I love just having a good book and reading for hours. So I know that there's audience members just like that. So we take all of the written word that we create. So everything that I'm saying right now will be transcribed into a written blog and basically reformatted so it makes sense so that you can read it. So if you're reading this right now, I actually created a video for this as well. And if you're interested in going watch the video, watch our video. This is obviously in the future when we edit this, but we're taking basically the words that I'm saying and we're putting them into a blog format so that you can read maybe a five to seven minute uh, article about how to use social media in your business. Is this all making sense? Like the coolest thing is, is that I can create one thing that can be distributed in so many different locations. I can make one video and it can be chopped up in so many different platforms, so many different ways of distribution. Again, there's video, there's audio, and there's a written word. And those have been the staples throughout history, right? Television, radio, newspaper, magazines, books, plays, like everybody consumes content in a different way that they want to digest that content. So as you're starting to use social media more in your business, you're starting to see what's capable and what's possible with the new things that are coming out, just start exploring, start using it, start being a first uh, contributor to these platforms. I know that there's some new platforms that have come out this year that are still super small in their embassies. There's nobody there yet, but the best thing about it is it's a real estate grab, right? You can go and get people's attention there soon. You can start using these apps before it's crowded and the space is complicated and the ads are expensive to use and build your space on there. Everybody says, you know, should I just use Facebook or should I just use Instagram or should I go strong on LinkedIn? The answer is yes, yes, yes. Be everywhere. It's hard to be everywhere and it's not something I recommend right out of the gate, but as you dominate one platform, 
start spreading your content amongst others. And again, if I create this on Facebook Live like I'm doing right now, it's so easy for me to share this on YouTube. It's so easy for me to take this content and put it on the LinkedIn. I can make one piece of content and pro properly distribute it. Sorry, it's going to get loud here. I can properly distribute it in the places that <laughs> need to be consumed. My tripod is failing here, so I'm going to have to hold it the rest of the way here. I wasn't prepared for this. Normally, we're in our office. we got a green screen. The video is legit. The audio is great. Uh, but every once in a while, i got to make accommodations for traveling. So anyway, I think that's the majority of what I want to say to you guys is just understand the possibilities of what's out there today. Understand the, the distribution, the free platforms, right? You don't have to pay to be on TV anymore. You don't have to pay to distribute your content in a magazine or a newspaper or a book or any other publication. You don't have to go buy a billboard anymore. I literally am producing this show right now for free. I have my battery pack plugged in. I have an internet connection and I'm good to go and I can communicate with the world. And that's the most amazing thing about social media, guys, is that the world consumes so much content right now. They're looking for people to follow. They're looking for advice. They're looking for strategy. They, they love the story of people to follow. And that's what we talk about too on my channels all the time. It's just what I'm learning and growing, right? I'm, I'm trying to be not the master of all, but I'm trying to be the guide, right? Like I'm still learning these things. I'm showing you what I'm doing as new things come. Like this is still a brand new industry. 10, well, maybe 11, 12 years ago, everything that we're talking about didn't exist, right? Like MySpace was just kind of like, eh, I don't know. Um, YouTube was just around for a bit. Facebook was just around for a bit. But what we're talking about at the scale that we're talking about did not exist. So it's still super new and I'm trying to be your guide into figuring out how to use this. Again, I'm, I will admit I am not the expert. I'm trying to figure out how to do this so that I can teach you guys how to do it. How to build my brand is going to show you guys how to build your brand. It's going to show you how to distribute your content, how to create things that people want to know about, how to help people recognize what your business is. And again, my goals for you is not having to pick up the phone every day and call, call, call and not having the door knock and not having to mail out flyers, but to simply attract the business that wants to work with you. That's my goal. Being in sales for as long as I have, I just want to focus on what I enjoy doing and what I like doing and helping you guys focus on your strengths and things that you are great at. I've talked to so many real estate agents and small business owners who are like, I hate calling people. I hate bugging them. I hate trying to pitch my product to people who don't want it. And there's got to be another way. And there is. And it's through content creation. It's through social media. It's through telling your story in a way that I'm doing right now so that you guys can learn about me and you can learn about these other businesses. And when the time's ready and you need that roofer or you need that hot tub repairman or you need that mechanic to help work on your car, you'll know who they are because you've been following their content for so long and you relate to them, you connect to them and you want to use their services. Okay. Use the platforms we have. Be ready for the future, right? We talk about Alexa a little bit around here and Google Voice and everything else is coming that's with the voice industry. I think that's going to be one of the next big platforms that just takes off like crazy. It's still new and it's still just kind of one of those luxury items that people don't use for what it's going to be taken advantage of. But, but what's going to happen is, is that people are going to become more familiar with it, right? So like right now I'm flying to Seattle. Someday I can basically just say, you know what, Alexa, find me a flight to Seattle. And it's going to know exactly what I'm looking for. It's going to know the flight that I normally take. It's going to know where I want to sit on that plane and it's going to book everything for me. And then it's probably going to send me a confirming email that everything's good. Like that's the direction things are going, right? Or, you know, Alexa, make bring me dinner tonight or Alexa, like have my car ready and Uber's going to show up, right? There's just going to be things that, and some of these things already exist, but they're getting better and better as we go. Get to know these platforms, play with them, get to know the technology that's being available and offered to us every single day. And, and just know that mistakes are going to be made. Know that you don't have to be perfect. Know that it's been yesterday too. We were talking about what the next class is going to be on because we teach this class every single month. And it's kind of fun for me to explore like what people are struggling with. And I was like, what do you guys want to learn about? And uh, one of the agents was like, we want to learn about how to use video. And I'm like, like how to hit record or how to edit it or like how to be comfortable just being in front of the screen. And she's like, yes, yes, yes. Like I just don't do it. And she's like, I know I need to because I keep hearing you say do more video and that's it. Do more video and get comfortable with it. And I wasn't perfect at first. I struggled with it right right off the bat. I'm still not perfect. That's why I'm like crouched down here behind the chairs because I'm not comfortable doing it in front of everybody yet. And that's okay. You don't have to be. Just make your best shot at it, right? Do the best that you can. Get something out there. Your audience is going to relate to you. They're going to cope with you. They're going to understand that you're doing your best. And you're going to start building a tribe and a follower. And I do too. Like as I've been on here, I see the little live button up here in the corner and I've seen people come and people go. I know they're not going to stick around for the whole time, but that's okay. I appreciate you guys being here. I appreciate you watching and giving me the little thumbs up and hearts and, and just letting me know that you're listening. And that's what I appreciate because it lets me know that, that you like my content, that, that I'm here to, to help you and to keep going. 
And I think that that's my rallying cry for you guys is to keep doing it for yourself as well. Keep producing that content. Keep trying to just get your message out there and get comfortable with today's technology and how we advertise, right? Like you don't have to be on the phone anymore. You don't have to send out mailers anymore. You don't have to buy, you know, crazy banner ads and just the advertising that's traditionally been in the past. Now you can tell your story and attract the clients that you're looking for. So that's my message for you. Get comfortable with social media. Just know that it is dominating our world, that the age groups we don't think are on social media are actually on social media. The 70 plus year olds, you guys are on social media. The 13 and 15 year olds, you guys are on social media too. So there's never been a better time to capture everyone's attention on one device, wherever the camera is right here. So just get used to it. Don't worry about like sharing too much. People consume what they want to consume. You're not going to hit everybody. Organic reach is super low, but get out what you can. Keep producing content every single day. Use these social media platforms. Again, try it, play with it, figure it out. If you get stuck, Google it, right? Like how do I use Instagram? ads, Google that. How do I post something on Facebook? Google that. How do I get more followers on Facebook? Google that. There'll still be ways to show you how to do it, right? That's what we're here to teach you as well. So again, this is a short one. I got to go make sure my flight's good. They're trying to bump me to the next flight because they're getting full or something like that. But anyway, um, hope you guys enjoy your fantastic weekend. I'm going to keep sharing content. Oh, here's two. If you're just watching this, if you haven't been watching my daily post on my Eric Cameron channel, you should go check that out. I've been trying to create short five to 10 minute little posts every single day just trying to share with you guys what I'm learning. Again, this is something that I would recommend daily consistent posting. I go live every single day, try to share something with you, what I'm working on, what I'm learning, books I'm reading, classes I'm taking, etc. Hopefully you guys can join. Love for you to follow my page and uh, just be part of the journey. So anyway, happy Friday guys. Thanks for following along. All right. Bye guys. Have an awesome Friday.